Hi, I'm Matthew Schmidley, and welcome to another batch of Boiler Bites. Engineering typically doesn't come to mind when you think about a stage play, but a unique academic partnership is providing Purdue engineering students with a little drama in their studies. Recently, two such students played important roles in Purdue Theater's production of the Noel Coward play, Blythe Spirit. But what you didn't know is that I was extremely attached to Polo Westlake at the time. Oh! <laughs> I was reasonably faithful to you, Ruth, although I doubt that would have lasted much longer. You're becoming increasingly domineering, you know, and there's nothing more off-putting than that, is there? Black Spirit is a play that's decades old. It's been produced many times, uh, and of course the ghost effects can be done any number of ways. I started with a list of all the effects and what the design team said, you know, these are what they had to do. Curtains had to open on their own, books had to fly off of shelves. The seance table, which had to move in a particular way. A tchotchke had to fly off a table. There were doors that needed to open and close by themselves. Plates that were hung on the wall had to, had to fall down and crash. Uh, every night on cue. I evaluated all those and then from there went into the design, um, doing the CAD drawings, doing the, the necessary math. And at Sound, what we do is we uh, listen to what the director wants and we um, try to meet w those needs as best as possible. I was the one who designed where the speakers were to be placed. I was the one that designed how they would be calibrated, and I was the one who engineered the show while it was running. Digital audio gave us the capability of handling infinitely more complex systems at the push of a button, and that's what sort of ushered in the need for better alliances between engineering technology and the performing arts. The technology also allows for the artists involved in a production to to, to do more and interesting and more interesting things than they've done before. The special effects I created for the show, the plates and the doors and the curtains were all pneumatic cylinders controlled electrically. The books on the bookshelf were a series of camshafts that were turned by a hand crank. The device on the table ended up being a rat trap and electric solenoid. In this theater proscenium, it's very, very tall, and the speakers at the top are very, very high. And a lot of the audience, as they're sitting, um, from their angle, they're gonna hear the sound coming from the ceiling. And we didn't want that. Key thing was making sure we could get speakers into the set um, to help bring all the sound down to stage level. A huge part of Black Spirit was sound out of this uh, Victrola device. And if you want the device to seem real, to seem functional, the people in the audience have to hear that the sound's coming from the device. And to do that, we put a speaker inside the Victrola. The sound that was generated when the doors open, there's a whoosh of wind. That what came from two speakers that were hidden inside the set. Very key in making the audience believe the sound was coming from that area. Elvira's voice sounds like it's coming from a table where a telephone rests. You can't recreate that experience without having a speaker there, hidden. The hands-on experience, um, working on the engineering, doing the math, doing the drawings, interacting with a design team. You know, it's something completely unique that not a lot of people have the experience of, is interacting directly with a client for all intents and purposes to make sure what I did met what they wanted. This project has been a fantastic capstone project for him because it really has challenged him to go from theory uh, and sort of paper-based classwork where you don't have to wrestle with what it really takes to make something happen. The practical side of engineering, uh, obviously, is a tough thing to get just going to class. There's a lot of theory and a lot of practice and a lot of, and a lot of math, which is great because we have to make sure the bridges don't fall down or the building's not gonna fall over. But there's not a whole lot of, in school, a lot of hands-on experience. Blight Spirit happened. There was a run for two weeks. and I got to see the effect of all the engineering I did on the show. Theater was a very hands-on place for me to apply my engineering. We are developing, I believe, students who are much more holistic, who are much more complete and you know prepared to go out in the world. Or, all parts of their worldview are being challenged and explored. To sit in a theater and to watch a show, you know, full house, everyone's laughing and clapping and cheering, 
and knowing that you played an extremely crucial role in making that play possible. It, it's very hard to describe. It's an incredible feeling, and it's something I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world.